Welcome back. I'm Joe Elkier. This is Steve Rand. This is The Gold Spot. Steve, this week, uh, phone's been ringing off the hooks. Lots of questions coming in. Obviously, the market is very volatile. We've got lots of influences, lots of stuff happening. Uh, can you give us some insight? I mean, what are you hearing from your clients? Well, you know, you have clients on both sides, obviously. People that are newer to the market don't really remember what happened back when President Trump was elected in 2016. And it was kind of similar in many ways. This week, we've seen a 5% uh, uh, decrease, or since the election, a 5% decrease in the price of gold. And that has some people that are newer to the market, maybe not as experienced, a little bit more concerned. But what we need to look back at is see what happened in 2016. Gold actually pulled back 11.6% uh, when he was elected in 2016, and we're only back 5% now. Ultimately, gold is still up 26% year to date. So we really have to keep in mind that we've seen some big surges in the gold price this year, and this is not really that big of a deal in comparison. Consequently, after the gold price came down in 2016 by 11.6% when President Trump got elected, gold price went up 54% over the course of the next four years. So people really need to understand it's not necessarily a political thing. It's really more a, a gauge of people kind of getting antsy for, for a bit. But if you look at the projections by a lot of the big banks right now, they're saying $2,600 is a major entry point and a real opportunity to get into the market on this dip. So we've seen some real opportunities. And of course, our seasoned customers, as you know, I know we were talking about it yesterday. We've seen so many of our, of our, of our clients that have been in this market for a long time, people that are very savvy and know these markets have come in strong over the course of the last week because they recognize opportunity. And really, Joe, what it comes down to is fundamentals. Exactly right, Steve. Uh, the fundamentals haven't really changed. We've got a lot facing us, a lot facing the dollar, uh, inflation, our excessive debt, uh, excessive credit, wars around the world. Think none of this has changed. We're still gonna, it's still going to be impacting many things around the world. You've got the BRICS nations, which that was a huge meeting over the last couple of weeks, uh, even setting up their own precious metals exchange for pricing. And there's more and more talks behind that. So we're going to continue to see changes and push back against the dollar. So uh, it definitely a great time to take care, you know, this opportunity to get into the market again. Yeah, for sure. And you're not alone. I mean, you got to remember that more than 50% of the population in the world right now is under bricks. So they're buying heavily right now. They are not just automatically going to stop changing that just simply because we had a change in administration or we're going to have a change in administration soon. Like I said, the fundamentals have not changed. If you look at the numbers under Trump's last administration, gold was up 54% overall. And again, this little bleep on the radar is nothing in the long scheme of things. We hope this helps. Give us a call. Let us know what your thoughts are. And we'll see you next time on The Gold Spot. If you enjoyed today's Gold Spot, like or subscribe to both our YouTube and Rumble channels. Also comment below if you have any questions or if you want to hear us talk about a specific topic in a future video.